Panic about the ongoing coronavirus outbreak has fueled xenophobia across the world. But it is not only outside China that anti-Chinese sentiments are reaching a new high. In Hong Kong, more than 100 restaurants posted signs forbidding Chinese mainland tourists from entering, and officials struggle to deal with it. So if the restaurant is based on their own, or from China, or from the normal word, we think this is a difference between us. 觉得挺气愤的，就是他是以一个公共卫生的借口，把一个歧视的理由变得合理化了。Our hands are tied in dealing with this kind of discrimination issues. Can't refuse or even kick out. 那么你歧视法定语文，那是不允许的。That this was basically part of the anti-China sentiment that we've been witnessing in recent times, and not. Actually related to concerns about the the COVID-19 virus itself. In Hong Kong, is it lawful to deny access to a business or service on the basis of language? We investigate. A controversial phenomenon has caused a stir in Hong Kong SAR amid the coronavirus outbreak. In early March, the human rights group Society for Community Organizations, or SOCO, found that more than 100 Hong Kong restaurants had openly refused to serve tourists from the Chinese mainland and Putonghua-speaking customers during the coronavirus outbreak. Hong Kong is an international city and home to people with different origins and many languages. 90% of Hong Kong's population use Cantonese as their usual spoken language while 2% use Putonghua, the official language of the Chinese mainland and also an official language in Hong Kong. In fact, 50% of Hong Kong's population can communicate in Putonghua. Researchers from SOCO found that 61 out of 101 restaurants that posted discriminatory notices online had actually posted the notice on their premises while 5 out of 13 shops they tried refused to take orders given in Putonghua. Many of the signs specifically banned Chinese mainland tourists from entering the premises, although tourist visas had been stopped in early February. From March 25th, all non-residents were banned from entering the city, with travel permits tightened on both sides from January 24th to March 23rd. The total arrivals per day dropped from more than 160,000 to 11,000. The daily proportion of mainland residents in total arrivals in the city dropped from 23% to 2%, and that of Hong Kong residents rose from 63% to 90%. The number of confirmed coronavirus cases in Hong Kong tripled in a fortnight, from 117 people to 387, with the majority of these being imported cases from Europe and America, rather than mainland residents. Yet none of these same shops had signs stopping people who had returned from other countries. Richard Choi Yu Jong from SOCO believes it is not possible for customers from the Chinese mainland with possible infection to go out and visit these restaurants now. The Equal Opportunities Commission, an independent statutory body set up to enforce anti-discrimination laws in Hong Kong, phoned Guangwing Catering, which is at the heart of controversy, and suggests they should remove their signs. The owner refused. Our legal purview are now confined to the four anti-discrimination ordinance in Hong Kong, which only covers uh, sex, uh, disability, uh, race, and family status. Any other discriminatory actions outside these four areas are beyond 
the EOC's purview now. The EOC do not believe any of them cover these signs. That the discrimination problem are there, but they're simply not covered by the four areas. Then our hands are tied in dealing with this kind of discrimination issues. At the moment, we can only resort to the general duty of preventing discriminatory practice from happening uh, by urging the public to rectify certain uh, behaviors, etc. So we can only use the soft powers. We spoke to two of Hong Kong's leading lawyers to check if there are any other legal pathways to challenge the signs. Xianfa 那么至于是不是有这样的犯罪故意，那么就是看你这个犯罪故意啊，是不是有意造成不同社会群体的互相厌恨、对立和斗争。It's clearly uh, indirect racial discrimination, and I have no doubt that if the matter were taken to the courts, that not only those who'd been discriminated against would be entitled to compensation, but the courts would also impose uh, heavy financial penalties uh, by way of uh, punitive damages to teach them that this type of conduct uh, is intolerable. 法律上有规定 Although the law appears to support the idea that such signs are illegal, there is a catch. Yeah, you need a victim, yeah. Well, I mean, there will be someone who's complaining about the discrimination. That's what triggers action in the first place. The EOC said it has received more than 600 inquiries about whether the signs are appropriate. Yet so far, no victim of such cases has turned to the EOC for help. The reason behind it is simple. Whenever onlookers come across these signs, they just walk away from the shops. Hence, no further actions can be taken forward. 原告就是他自己的身份啊,还有他可能 on March 24th, we revisited five shops at random and found that they had removed the signs. Hai 免受歧視. So in our future work plan, we will seek to uh, conduct research further in these so-called uncharted waters to see what else the EOC can do to ultimately make our society uh, fair.